go. Five, six, seven, eight. Look how good we are at that. That was, that was really good. Start? Yeah. Hey guys. No. Okay. 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 Hey everyone. <laughs> All right. Hey everyone. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? You started it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So today we are building a nightstand with a glass top. I'm building it for my daughter. We just moved into a new home and she has a bigger room that finally has room for a nightstand and that was her number one request when we moved in. You only need two sheets of laminated pine, a piece of glass, and a quarter inch two by four sheet of plywood. Cool. Piece of glass sounded like piece of Okay, let's say it again. <laughs> no, no, no. So the first step to building this is to build the main frame of this nightstand. So I ripped the laminated pine to 18 and a quarter inches. You can check out our free plans linked in the comments below, linked in the description box below. Jeffrey, you're gonna hate me for all of my stops. <laughs> Stop to say the whole thing. <laughs> we are drilling three quarter inch pocket holes into both ends of the shelf pieces. So I'm using our Craig Jig 720 Pro. Love this thing. Woo, look at that boat board. <laughs> it's a shelf. And I'm gonna do three pocket holes. One more on this side, and we'll flip it around. Cool. That one's done. I'm gonna switch boards, get my glasses. So we've got both pieces done. What's next? So now we are going to attach the two shelves to sideboards and I've already marked where these shelves are going to go. Uh, I just remembered. They go right here. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. So the first step is to attach the shelves and the apron to one side of the nightstand. So we've got this Apron piece that I also ripped from the laminated pine. I got all of my boards from the two pieces of laminated pine to save money. So I've already marked where that apron is going to go, and it is going to go right here. And what size screws are we using? We are using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws to attach this, and some wood glue. We're good. Oh, we're good. Okay. Okay. So one apron is on. Now we're gonna add the first shelf with a line of wood glue. There's, this isn't flush on this side. Should oh, that's the back. It's okay. okay. okay so that's oh, it's not supposed to be because okay. I did a quarter inch on the back. I think you're um, You know what we're gonna do? Let's do the middle first and then we can the whole back. How to straighten a wonky board by Shanty Tushi. First of all, go pick your own leather <laughs> out and don't do a slow kick up. Okay, I think we should go ahead and get these, okay? Right here, okay? Okay, now, now I am attaching the front apron to the bottom shelf, okay? I like how small this is compared to the coffee table that we built recently. If y'all missed that, the giant, what, what did we call that? The bat breaking coffee table? But if you missed that coffee table build, you can check it out in our videos. Which way did we do? Okay. All right, so we have the front apron attached, we have the bottom shelf attached, and now we're going to attach the top shelf. And there should be a quarter inch overhang on that. Yes. So these, uh, these shelves are ripped to 18 inches because I am leaving a quarter inch gap on the back side for the sheet of plywood. Okay. So both shelves are on. That was simple, right? Yeah. Okay, so it. now we're going to attach flip the it. Yeah, let's flip it and okay. put it on top of that. You move that, since you're the stronger of the two. Oh, say that again. <laughs> there we go. Blue, should we do blue? Sure. Is it above above? Yeah. Okay. But so that's we, the front now. Okay, cool. That one's done. Okay, bottom shelf done. What's next, Ash? This is already so cute. Okay, so let's flip this up and show everybody how it looks so far. So, you can stop right here and have your 
have a fancy next You really day. could if you wanted to. So we are going to build a drawer mm -hmm. uh, box, not the face frame yet. So we're going to build a drawer box and then we're going to install the sides. Install the drawer. Sweet. And we're almost done. Okay. So let's get this out of the way. One last thing before we move on to the drawer. I forgot we need to add the back support. So this is actually going to be the back support for the quarter inch plywood, but we also need something for the glass to rest on in the back. So I've drilled three quarter inch pocket holes into both ends. I also cut this one by two from the laminated pine and we are going to attach it one and one eighth inch from the top of, I'll do this one for the next one. Clamp, clamp schmamp, who needs a clamp? We are now ready to move on to the drawer box. Perfect. And we're going to build that up here? Yep. Okay. And oh, I, in the drawer box, we are using one and a quarter inch nails and a brad nailer and wood glue. So the drawer boxes are boards that I also ripped from the laminated pine, and you can get the measurements for those on our three plans. We've got two sides and a front and a back, and we are going to wood glue and nail them together. Just like that. Just like that, guys. Okay, so we got the box done. Now I am just tracing where I need to cut the quarter inch for the drawer bottom. I'm gonna go pull the saw. That's so ready. And there we go. And I will go make my cut. Have fun. I'm gonna go out into the heat. So we have the box done, and I have cut the plywood to size. And we're just going to put a line of wood glue around the whole box. And we are going to staple the plywood to the bottom of the box. And then you're all the stapler is good to use when you're using like thinner stock wood. So the quarter inch wood, it's easy for nails to pop through. So when you're putting something on that you really want to stick well, a stapler is a really good option for that. So I typically use my stapler, again, when I'm using like quarter inch material um, or also when I'm putting, putting stuff on the wall. Staplers are good for that too. This is fine. A crown, a trim, if you will. Woo! So loud. Woo! She is ready. <laughs> you might actually put a staple there too. <laughs> fine. <laughs> no need to act that one out. <laughs> Last staple done. <laughs> Is it believable? <laughs> now we have a drawer, and I'm really hoping that it fits inside of the cabinet. Because if it doesn't, the cabinet's not going to have a drawer anymore. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. This is the joy. So it should be an inch? Yeah, it should okay. be half an inch on each side. She doesn't really need drawer slides. <laughs> it's not going to fit? <laughs> She can just scoot it out. For real? It's like, no, I was just saying it's easier. Oh, oh. <laughs> the moment of truth. <coughs> it'll work. It'll work. Oh, yeah. All right, we're done. Bye. <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> so, Whitney is cutting down the face frame just a little bit so that we get a perfect fit. And I am attaching the drawer slides right now. We are using three quarter inch scraps to give us a little lift on the drawer slides. And we've also marked three quarters of an inch back to give us room for that face frame. So I am just marking my holes right now that I'm gonna drill into. So we have the drawer slides in and functioning. And now we are going to get our drawer box and attach it to the drawer slides also. All right, guys, now I am setting the drawer box in and I'm gonna start attaching the sides. Drill some holes real quick. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except for when it doesn't. Yes. Well, I guess it's gonna work since we got the drawer inside of it. Not hot on wood. Not hot on wood. Okay, so let's pull it up just a little bit. 
So we, okay, I see another one. This is very professional. I see another one. Try me. Try Drill. Scalpel. This is why I wait for the hard projects for Whitney. Two no. is better than one. Just saying. It's not hard. We're all in. Okay, now we're gonna drill a single hole on each side to hold our shelf pins, and we're using the correct shelf pin jig to do that. This is really great when you're making multiple holes, but we're just using it for one because it gives us the perfect depth for that shelf pin. We've lined it up at one and an eighth, which is the same height as the back support wood. Bada bing, bada pin hole. And then it just pops right in. So much easier. Oh, all right, let's flip it up and see how the glass fits in it. See if the glass fits in it. See <laughs> yeah, if it does. Okay, so the design does have a piece of plywood on the back that I am going to stain, and I'm painting the nightstand, so we are going to add that later. But we want to try the glass on for size. This is so cute, Ashley. I love the design. I can't wait to get this home. When I get home, I'm going to cut the back sheet of plywood to size, staple it on the back, and give a fresh coat of paint to the nightstand. And add some hardware. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> All those things. <laughs> I love how it turned out. Y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another video. Happy building. Probably need to silence your guy over there. Oh. Because he keeps beeping. His, your email keeps squawking at us. Again. You're a busy lady. <laughs> okay. So. Actually. Is it. I turned the sound <laughs> off. Jeff, let Jeffrey help you. Just, you you just, did it. Actually. I thought he did then that. Then it was <laughs> I was like, I heard it beep three times in the last two of us. <laughs> okay. 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 You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I'm the boss of me. Okay, drawer box is done. You're about to put it down. Okay. I was, I was giving him as a starting point. I'm trying to be professional. Okay, ready? Go. Yeah. What? This is like your intro. She keeps coming out to get it out. You just let us know with your face. How do you find the hole with I just looked through it. I got good eyes though, Ashley. I have the eyes of a cat. Aren't our cats so have good eyes? Um, Owls. I have the eyes of an owl. Eagles. I have the eyes of an eagle. I am the All I do is win! Mother. Except when I don't! <laughs> Occasionally! <laughs> so. How did I do that? The two inches should be over there. What do you mean? I measured it backwards. I don't know.